Compelling evidence of the mega tsunami that was generated by the Burkel Crater impact event exists along every major coastline in the Indian Ocean. This is a segment taken from the full video, which documents the damage, deposition, and evidence left over from this mega tsunami event, starting from Indonesia and going to Sri Lanka, India, Pakistan, Oman, Yemen, Somalia, Madagascar, and finally concluding in South Africa. The link to this can be found in the description below. This is part of a documentary series that also has full videos of the impact this mega tsunami caused to Australia and Antarctica. The links to these will also be found below. If you'd like to see an extended version of this episode made, please click the like button to let me know. I'd be more than happy to dig into this more in depth, if people are keen to see it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Part 4. Oman, Yemen and Somalia We are currently in a location that is quite close to the border between Yemen and Oman. At the moment, we are in Oman, looking at an incredible site of deposition. The mega tsunami rode up and ascended this sloping incline before leaping over the top of this mountain range and depositing the bulk of the sediment that it was carrying, like one would expect, due to the fact that the wave lost much of the power that was driving it when it slammed into this mountain. Massive chevron shapes exist, before just fading into oblivion. As we continue along this range, we see more V-shapes appearing all along it with the most pronounced parts of it being right where the wave lost the bulk majority of the force driving it. Although, to be fair, this city levelled much of the evidence that was once here. As we cross over into Yemen, we're met with much of the same thing. Vast chevron shapes that suddenly taper out at a certain distance. At Somalia, the chevron shapes are a bit more distinct. It bore the brunt of a direct hit to a much higher degree as a result of its relatively flat topography. There was no mountain range to absorb and buffer the impact here, like we had in Yemen and Oman, so we have long chevron shapes that stretch very, very far inland. And yes, this is one big sediment slide. It's unbelievably long, and as you can see, this slide is actually comprised of many, many thousands of chevrons. And the reason this occurred is because sediment slowly dropped out, instead of being forced out all at once, like we see when the mega tsunami waves impact obstructions that are strong enough to take the incredible force that they exert when they slam into it. And thus it slides. This area must have been a pronounced topographical low before it was choked up by these chevrons. It almost looks like a shark fin, and it joins up with the rest of the chevron damage right here. But this is the furthest slide inland to exist in Somalia, with it reaching a little over 140 kilometers inland. Absolutely mind-blowing. But when viewed from above, it's even more remarkable. From the slide to the accompanying chevron depositions, in my mind, there isn't a shadow of a doubt that this event occurred. So this is the end of this video. If you'd like to see the full video, please do check the links down below for either it or the videos on our episodes that cover Australia or Antarctica. Thanks for watching.